myself lovepreet verma i'm the founder of this company and uh, we have team of experts phd english experts idp bc certified in our training today we will discuss how to get more than seven bands in writing task because writing task is a big pain area for majority of students so i'll discuss the major criteria how to get more than seven bands in writing and after that i will uh, show you what services we will provide and how our system works so guys to get more than seven bands there are four parameters four pillars on which you have to work uh, i would suggest keep your pen and paper handy if you want to write down anything you can write down on the other hand and if you would have any question both of you you can ask me any time even during the presentation so out of uh, two both of you have you given any ielts exam before ramandeep and ananya no and no sir first time right yeah. yes okay i will uh, keep your mic uh, both of your mic is on mute phase uh, if you would have any doubt just unmute and ask me at any point of time write down whatever you will find uh, you need to so basically there are 0 to 9 band score uh, many of the student fail to get more than 7 bands because of these four factors they are not concentrating on the main factors first is task achievement and response task achievement and response means how you going to achieve the task how you going to respond the task whether you going to write down all the essential factors of writing task 2 or not for an example introduction alone has three parts background information plus paraphrase the statement plus thesis statement if you miss any of these three parts you will not get the full bands of task achievement and response now every section is having 0 to 9 band score so for an example if you get seven bands here 6.5 here 7.5 here six here then the average of these four will be your band score so if you will miss any essential factor background information states it tells something about the topic in the past for an example in yester years or in previous years people used to wear simple clothes but with the advent of modernization and globalization masses tend to wear sophisticated clothing we have shown the extent ki purane samay mein kya hota tha what was used to happen in the past and what is happening now that is a background information which links the past with the present scenario due to the sensitivity of time if you fail to make the background information you can write down a journal comment journal comment is just like nowadays people tend to wear sophisticated clothing owing to modernization and globalization now this is very essential to add second is paraphrase paraphrase means you have to convert the question into your own words with the different words you cannot write down the exact question in the introduction so you have to use different words to paraphrase you need to use synonyms and other words plus thesis statement thesis statement is a great indicator to the reader that what we going to write down in further body paragraph it also builds the connection between introduction and body paragraph so it also builds coherence and cohesion i'll update you what is coherence and cohesion now second condition of task achievement and response is writing task 2 should not be less than 250 words if it would have 249 words still you will be penalized so keep it between 260 to 280 some might be thinking how to count words you can count one line if your line one line has 10 words and you have written 26 lines you would be in the safer i horizons now third condition of this segment is content relevancy content relevancy is very important if examiner is asking about hills and you are going to write down about sea or long drive that is going to be irrelevant so you have to write down what is relevant to the topic i will describe each and every segment in upcoming uh, slides now coherence and cohesion means a perfect connectivity of ideas structure 
lines and paragraph an ideal writing task too must be linked properly from the very first line of the in, uh, writing task to introduction till the last line of the conclusion with the help of connectors furthermore moreover in addition to that besides firstly secondly thirdly the structure should be linked the ideas should be linked third is lexical resource lexical resource implies what type of vocabulary you going to use whether you going to use simple vocabulary word or high vocabulary word some student just use very high vocabulary word just to impress the reader but eventually they don't know the meaning of those words in depth and what happens they get 5 or 5.5 bands because those vocabulary word eventually alter the meaning of the passage entire passage so we will not use any Excuse vocabulary me, sir. yes please sir is it necessary to use a lot of vocab words in the writing section no i would say 7 to 10 words would be more than sufficient to get lexical resource bands but those words should be relevant to the content Okay. if you will use irrelevant words you will not get the desired band so you have to use the subject specific words in order to get the higher bands of lexical resource okay hope i answered your question yes okay now fourth pillar is grammatical range and accuracy grammatical range and accuracy means what type of sentence structure you going to use whether you going to use simple sentence compound sentence complex sentence complex compound sentence or you going to write down in passive voice even punctuation matters so all these four pillars are very essential to get higher bands more than seven bands and we teach our all students on these four parameters only so that our students can get higher bands now we will discuss specifications how to get more bands uh today we'll discuss opinionating essay uh structure of opinionating essay and i'll uh, describe the example of it and then we'll move forward so if you are giving if you are given an opinion essay aapko opinion essay mila hai you have to pick a side whether agree or disagree you can either agree or disagree with the statement in the question once you pick up a side you can start planning your essay and then write it an opinion essay should have introduction two to three body paragraph third body paragraph is an optional if you will write down you'll get extra bands for that more bands if it is relevant to the point if you write uh, you know relevantly then conclusion now introduction as i said it consists three things first is background information which i just explained second is your introduction paragraph should paraphrase your question paraphrase should be there you have to use different words synonyms to write down in the introduction you cannot write down exact question in the in the introduction use synonyms for the words used in the question now third is thesis statement the statement should clearly state your opinion so with the thesis statement alone examiner will come to know what you going to write down in further body paragraph what you going to write down in further subsequent paragraph whether you agree or disagree with the statement so you going to clearly mention in the introduction now in the body paragraph 1 your body paragraph should re revolve around a central idea supporting points example according to a research we have seen that students write down so many points in just two three paragraphs like 10 15 points in body paragraph they end up with 5 or 5.5 bands then they complain to idp or bc evaluation system that they have bad evaluation system a uh, false evaluation system no guys they have perfect evaluation evaluation system but we need to understand their demand what they want us to write down they don't want us to write down 10 15 points they want us to write down only one point in one paragraph elaborate it well support it with different points cite an example to support your main idea one point explain it well cite an example that's it your one body paragraph is ready 
there is one person sahiba just joined uh, sahiba we are discussing writing task to opinionating essay is my voice audible screen visible uh, yes sir it okay. is visible we just started and uh, we'll uh, go forward from here so i was discussing body paragraph in body paragraph we need only one point central idea we have to uh, support our idea with the different point that is called explanation we will write down an example to support our main idea that's it a central idea the paragraph should revolve around the idea supporting point added points that support your central idea example example from your real life experience that support your that support the supporting idea so basically it's not important that example should be from any journal or newspaper no you can make it you can fabricate it but the idea behind is it should be supporting to your central idea so you can take the example from your experience as well someone's experience as well but it should be supporting to your idea similarly we'll follow the same pattern in second paragraph a central idea supporting points example should be there in body paragraph 3 specifically in this case in case of opinion essay if you write down third paragraph you will get additional points in third paragraph it is a trickiest one here you need to convey to the examiner that you are aware of the other side of the argument as well so you know you are not just discussing your point which you have selected you can touch the other side of the argument as well yet you believe that your side is logical or right so in the third paragraph you will you can write down you can touch the another side of the sphere as well but in that another side of sphere you will also mention that mine view is the correct view however i'm aware about another segment of the debate as well in the conclusion you can paraphrase the question you can write down the same question with the different words you can reinforce your idea with the different words that is called paraphrase or rephrase and emphasize your own opinion now any any doubt about the structure anyone No. any question ananya hina ramandeep sahiba uh, sir actually i have a question yes please uh, sir i wanted to ask when do we give uh, both the sides of views in all the essays we have to give or uh, only no, no, in one no 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 when examiner will ask you to discuss both side and give your own opinion then only you are allowed to write down on both sides if you will if examiner is asking your opinion give your opinion then you have to choose a side then you have to write down one side explain why you are choosing that side you have to exemplify the side plus in third paragraph you can touch the another side but still you will justify your point in third body paragraph okay sir you got my point you cannot yes, write down 50 50 like i am agree with this similarly i am i am on the sa same side i am disagree with the point opinion no that's wrong if examiner will ask you to write down uh, describe both sides or you know comment on both side and give your own opinion in that scenario in first paragraph you will write down one side in second parag paragraph you will write down another side in third paragraph you will cite your own opinion what you feel got it okay sir Okay. all right so this is the question which came into the real ielts exam so we'll take example of it the key solution for the environmental issues is for the current generation to live a less comfortable life to benefit future generation so examiner is saying that is the key solution of the environmental issue is that the current generation should live uh, you know less comfortable life so that next generation would have more resources next generation would lead a good life now to what extent do you agree or disagree now this is an opinionating essay where examiner is asking your opinion 
you were given an opinion essay which means you had to pick a side do you agree that current generation has to live a less comfortable life to reduce environmental issues or do you disagree that current generation has to live a less comfortable life to reduce environmental issue once you pick the side you can start planning your essay and then write it don't forget to state your opinion on it so that means you have to select a side first the first and foremost point is read always read a question two to three times so that you can understand the question clearly many students just made this mistake they don't read the question carefully they just start writing and at the end of the passage when they start rewriting the or, or you know when they start reading the answer reading the question again they find that they have written wrong stuff so always read the question at least thrice understand what the examiner is saying convert the question into your mother tongue if you if your mother tongue is punjabi convert the question into your punjabi if your mother tongue is hindi or other language convert it into your mother tongue so you will come to know the real uh, what the examiner is asking exactly then plan it accordingly now i will describe you structural on the basis of structure the key solution for the environmental issues is for the current generation is to live less comfort life to benefit future generation kya current generation ko less comfortable life jeeni chahiye so that future generation have would have more resources now the word is bedeviled that is annoyed or harmed with with monstrous monstrous hota hai numerous environmental hazards like global warming rise in sea water levels so guys this is the journal comment jo humne is par environmental issues hain isko address karte hue humne ek journal comment likh diya we have written a journal comment the world is annoyed with numerous or many environmental problems like global warming and rise in sea water levels now some think that the best solution to problem is the current generation should sacrifice their comforts for the benefits of the future generation now this is the paraphrase of the, of the statement with the different words we have picked the question with the different words and written in the introduction इंट्रोडक्शन में लिखा गया था कि जो ये क्या ये सोल्यूशन है एनवायरमेंट प्रॉब्लम्स का कि जो करंट जनरेशन है उसको लेस कंफर्ट लाइफ जीनी चाहिए सो दैट फ्यूचर जनरेशन वुड हैव मोर कंफर्ट विद द डिफरेंट वर्ड्स वी हैव रिटर्न समथिंग सम पीपल आर थिंकिंग दैट द बेस्ट सोल्यूशन टू द प्रॉब्लम इज दैट करंट जनरेशन शुड सेक्रीफाइस देयर कम्फर्ट फॉर द बेनिफिट ऑफ फ्यूचर जनरेशन नाउ i do not here we going to state our main vision what we are thinking i do not deny the lifestyle changes are necessarily but this does not mean that the present generation has to sacrifice their comfort the lifestyle changes may be beneficial for the current generation in many ways so this is a thesis statement with the with the help of this statement we convey to the reader that what we going to write down or what we are thinking about the topic so these three things are very important journal comment paraphrase the statement and thesis statement thesis statement builds a link between introduction and body paragraph 1 as i said coherence and cohesion very important so it builds a coherence and cohesion now in the body paragraph 1 द लाइफ स्टाइल चेंजेस अब हमने लाइफ स्टाइल चेंजेस को इलेबोरेट कर दिया सेंट्रल आइडिया ले लिया दैट लाइफ स्टाइल चेंजेस मे बी बेनिफिशियल फॉर द करंट जनरेशन इन मैनी वेज की जो करंट जनरेशन है उसको सेक्रीफाइस करने की जरूरत नहीं है करंट जनरेशन डू नॉट डजेंट रिक्वायर एनी सेक्रीफाइस बट इट रिक्वायर सम लाइफ स्टाइल चेंजेस विच विल बेनिफिशियल इन मैनी वेज हाउ the lifestyle changes may not be onerous difficult for for example the government first point hai for government 
the government has banned the use of plastic shop owners have restored the paper and cloth bags instead this move has not reduced the comfort of current generation in any manner this has changed in lifestyle with no reduction in the comfort level so what they did they basically replaced the plastic with the paper bags so it barely impact the convenience on the other part it is a healthier activity for the environment so here we have justified our point if you see there is a change in lifestyle with no reduction in the comfort level first we have written the central idea then we have explore or explain the central idea that what has happened and then we exemplify the idea or example ko bhi humne then we justified it there is a change in lifestyle with no reduction in the comfort level second point another initiative from government is planting trees and polishing paper use people are advised to take double side print outs so pehle single side print outs lete the more paper you know had to use or you know consumed but now if people start double side printing this is welcoming initiative as trees help to purify the air which is beneficial for the environment so less trees will be cut and eventually trees will help the environment it improves air quality and the current generation can breathe fresh air future generation hi nahi current generation also can breathe fresh air by minimizing paper use we are avoiding unnecessary felling of trees felling of trees tree cuts so what we uh, did we use central idea go green initiative as beneficial to the people so similarly will follow the same structure in the second paragraph now in the second paragraph we'll use the same structure be being conscious of the use of energy ab humne second central idea le liya to being conscious of the use of energy the government has also asked people to reduce the use of energy kaise ke it is good practice to turn off the lights and unplug the charges after use some electrical appliances are found to consume electricity even after being turned off this is good for our pockets as well because we won't get so much bills if we will follow such activities i uh, will get lesser bills owing to owing cars are indeed a symbol of an improved lifestyle but we should become aware that we are emitting greenhouse gases into the environment or atmosphere which causes global warming and rise in sea water level so we should restrict the use of cars and use plastic uh, public transport as much as possible what will the benefit will get this is economical to the car owner owner as well as because he would saving money on fuel as well although it requires some efforts from the current generation they don't cause dim discomfort in any manner so eventually we are focusing that it is new generation should not leave their comfort they can lead their same comfort but they can do some lifestyle changes uh, entire idea is going revolving around now in the conclusion to conclude to to encapsulate sum up these kind of concluding phrases will be used so in the conclusion uh, you have to rephrase your idea you can re enforce you can see the reinforcement of your idea it is true that the current generation has to make lifestyle changes to reduce environmental issues but i disagree that these changes have to reduce the comfort of the current generation so we again reinforce our idea that it is true that current generation has to make lifestyle changes to unko karni padengi to reduce environment issues but i disagree that these changes have to reduce the comfort of comfort level of current generation unko current generation ko apna life comfort less karne ki zarurat nahi hai for the future generation they have to just uh, amend some current lifestyles the truth 
truth is that the changes improve the standard of living of the current generation they are creating a better world without making any compromise on the on their comfort so what we did basically we have uh, choose a central idea we uh, explore the idea explain the idea we cite an example to support our idea now any question on this guys any question ananya hina ramandeep saheba no yes. sir it's all clear so basically what we need to do we need to work on all these four pat pillars which we uh, normally describe in the classes we help our students to work on these four parameters so after that there are three things required to write down in body paragraph first is central idea explain that idea well support an example support it with the example that's it in introduction three points journal comment or background information paraphrase the statement then thesis statement in the body paragraph central idea explain it well support it with example in conclusion you need to rephrase or paraphrase your own opinion that's it your writing task so we can analyze this um in so in the question we have paraphrase uh, this is we paraphrase the word is uh, bedevil the monstrous environment hazard like global warming and rise in sea level to humne bata diya global warming badh rahi hai sea level badh raha hai in cheezon se so some थिंकिंग दैट प्रॉब्लम जो है वो करंट जनरेशन को अपने कट ऑफ करने पड़ेंगे कम्फर्ट बट बट आई बिलीव इट इज नॉट द ऑप्टिम सोल्यूशन करंट जनरेशन हैज टू चेंज द लाइफ स्टाइल सो ओपिनियन फर्स्ट में बताया गया था आई डू नॉट डिनाई द लाइफ स्टाइल चेंजेस आर नेसेसरी बट डजेंट मीन दैट प्रेजेंट जनरेशन हैज टू सेक्रीफाइस दर कम्फर्ट द थीस इज लाइन द लाइफ स्टाइल चेंजेस मे बी बेनिफिशियल फॉर द करेंट जनरेशन इन मैनी वेज सिमिलरली हमने बॉडी पैराग्राफ वन में क्या किया वी टू कर सेंट्रल आइडिया गो ग्रीन इनिशियटिव एज बेनिफिशियल फॉर द पीपल सपोर्टिंग पॉइंट क्या थे प्लास्टिक बैंड कर दिया प्लास प्लांटिंग ट्रीज पॉलिसिंग पेपर यूज ऑन बोथ साइड सेकेंड पैराग्राफ सेम इनिशियटिव सेंट्रल आइडिया गो ग्रीन इनिशियटिव एंड बेनिफिशियल टू पीपल बींग कॉन्शियस ऑफ द एनर्जी reducing the greenhouse gas emission is pe humne aur conclusion mein reiterate reinforce the people continue to live uh, to continue the life comfortability although be it making lifestyle changes and supporting the side taking in the introduction so this is how you can get more than seven bands guys in your uh, writing task now uh, i'll take little more time Uh, five to ten minutes to describe other things. Then we will wind up. We are the first institute in India having PhD English experts, IDP and BC certified trainers. In normal centers, basically, uh, those student who achieve six or seven each, they got hired by the centers as a trainer, like freshers. We don't hire such freshers. We have only experienced trainers in our team, like more than ten years, seventeen years, just like that. now every day zoom live instructor led classes will be there monday to friday saturday there will be mock tests sunday we share resource material we will give you one digital account guys if you will enroll with us every day classes will be there one digital account that will be validate for 6 months you can use this account for 6 months whether you going to register for one month or two month in which you can practice 160 plus test 160 plus test wahan pe journal ke bhi honge 160 test plus wahan pe academic ke bhi honge one mobile app will give you in which you can see your own recorded session for an example every day we going to uh, the session you going to be attended uh, the record it's going to be recorded at the back end and you will be able to review the recording by next day plus you will be able to see the recordings of previous sessions 200 plus sessions from different trainers as well so apart from live classes you can do lots of homework at home you can attempt many sections i'll show you the digital account lively in upcoming class uh, session uh, in upcoming slides 
and you can also see the previous classes just right in your mobile so regular assignments will be there every day regular feedback will be there five full length mock tests will provide you in this digital account apart from this in a month four additional mock test will be there on saturdays now this is the account digital account which we will provide you guys let me show you the live interface is this account visible to all of you it says vineyard english love verma is written here is this account is visible yes sir hello yes please so in this account once you will enroll with us your name will be here and once you click on online test you will see two sections ielts academic ielts journal if you are a student of ielts academic you can click here and you will see five full length mock test here full length means reading listening writing will be there once you will finish reading once you click here on take test listening will start automatically once you will finish listening reading will start automatically then writing will start automatically the structure going to be same that you going to face in the real ielts exam 152 minutes 82 question if we click on academic readings you will find five section will be there every section going to be have five reading test full length reading test 40 question 60 minutes so you going to be have five into five 25 academic readings will be here every day you can do one reading at home as well apart from the live classes and every reading is would would, would have a, a different kind of level if you click on listings again 25 listenings will be there every day you can do one listening at home apart from the live classes 30 minute 40 question and this material will be very unique material you will not find this material in any book not even in cambridge if you click on academic writing again five section will be there every section further going to be have five world further section and every further section going to have two question writing task 1 writing task 2 so 5 into 2 2 into uh, uh 5 into 2 10 10 into 5 50 you going to be have 50 writing task here if you click on speaking full length speaking test will be there as you going to face in the real ielts exam similarly in case of journal you going to be have five full length mock test 25 journal readings 25 listenings 50 journal writing task and speaking task apart from this if your grammar is weak you can go into challenge zone and in this challenge zone all the grammatical concepts are there pronoun verb adjective tense adverb conjunction preposition you can play challenges and enhance your skills over here as well apart from this the third thing we going to provide you if you go to our website vineyardenglish.com in the download section you will find one mobile application in this mobile application after enrollment we will provide you the link of mobile app or you can download from our uh, website and once you will enroll with us we will provide you a license key once you will uh, type the license key here fill the license key you will see your screen just like this if you are a student of academic you will see your own recorded session here of academic and if you are a student of journal you will see the journal videos here you can see 250 plus previous videos as well now coming back to the presentation so i have described guys how to get more than seven bands those who joined late might miss the session a uh, writing session so i have covered how to get more than seven bands apart from this every day session will be there monday to friday saturday there will be mock test you going to get training from phd idp or bc certified trainers one digital account this account will give you for 6 months whether you going to join for one month or two month will give you access for 6 month and this additional mobile application also will provide you the access for 6 month and regular assignments will be there regular mock test will be there this is the structure of our classes 
Monday to Friday classes. Two to three module will be covered every day in the class. One and half hour to one hour, forty five minutes class will be there. Reading and writing assignment you going to get every day basis. So once you will attempt any assignment, you will get the feedback from your trainer. Speaking will be there on every day, and every day you'll get the feedback of the speaking as well. Another uh, module will be shuffle. Saturday mock test will be there. All the four module will be assessed in detail. Sunday we share blogs, study material, videos, and tips. This is how your writing score going to be assessed by the trainer as per IDP and BC standards. Once you will share the picture of your writing task, you are going to get the feedback just like this on base of four parameter which I just described: task achievement, coherence and cohesion. lexical resource grammatical range and accuracy so you're going to get everything in detail now i'm going to show you how our listening is going to be there in the real classes until this point any doubt ananya gaurav ramandeep sahiba there is one person no, from sir. galaxy mobile may I know the name please galaxy a50 your name please or rewrite your name kindly so i can identify you So guys, in listening class, basically first your trainer, five to ten minutes. In five to ten minutes, your trainer will explain you what type of questions will be there in the real IELTS exam, how to attempt, where to focus, where not to focus. After that, your trainer will ask you to write down one to forty numbers on your notepad. On your notepad. So once you will write down one to forty numbers on your notepad. this kind of video will be played at front of you i'm going to play it just for 30 seconds so you will come to know the quality of the video the local stores you'll not be charged adaptations of shakespeare's plays and that at what level the sound became exactly do people want to Okay, was the audio clear? All of you? Yes, sir. Okay. So once you will write down one to forty numbers, this kind of video will be played at front of you, from first till fortieth question. And once you will write down first to fortieth question, and you will come up with certain answers. You will write down sir answers simultaneously on your notepad. then the real answers will be shown to you and your trainer will dictate all the answers from first till 40th and for an example 27th you got a instead of e you can ask your trainer i got a and why it is e then your trainer will go back to 27th question and explain you the logic behind it why it is e and why it is not a similarly in the reading class first 5 to 10 minutes will be discussed will be spent by the trainer on what type of reading questions will be there in the real ielts exam tips and training how to crack where to focus where not to focus after that this kind of screen will be shown to you uh you will do 3 to 4 this kind of readings in reading class first your trainer will let you know how to read the instructions how to read the questions how to mark keywords once you will read the question this kind of you will be given 8 to 10 minutes in that 8 to 10 minutes you will read the paragraph once you will read the paragraph you will come up with certain answers once you will come up with certain answers the real answers will be shown to you after 8 to 10 minutes and if still you would have any doubt for an example 12th you got c instead of e you can ask your trainer i got c instead of e and why it is e then your trainer will go will, will go back to the reading and explain you the logic behind it why it is e and why it is not c so guys this is how our readings will be there i explain the writing part as well now i'll show you how the speaking part will be there so in the speaking section the real speaking will be from 11 to 14 minutes first section there would be three section first section would have question from 
uh, journal uh, generic in nature, just like you will uh, be asked journal question by the trainer, like tell me something about your hometown or previous studies and why you want to go abroad, just like that. After that, you will be given a cue card. You have to prepare for the cue card in less than one minute and how to do that. We help our students to prepare in less than one minute with the help of spider diagram, WH technique. And uh, what you need to do basically, you need to introduce the topic quickly in one to two lines. After that, you have to cover the bullet points first, then use in one to two lines, conclude the topic, add a connector. Furthermore, moreover, in addition to this, additionally, besides extend the topic as long as you want, because you have to speak up at least for minimum for two minutes. So how to extend the content? It is a big pain for many students, but we teach our students, we help our students to expand the content with the power of imagination. So we teach power of imagination in our speaking and writing tasks. So what is power of imagination? You can write down any content, even which is not existing in the real time. For an example, if examiner would ask you to write, you know, describe your hometown, you can describe it as Toronto, Michigan, Melbourne. Examiner is not going to check the facts of the conversation. He or she is going to check your fluency, sentence structure, whether you achieve the task or not. Uh, your gestural language, body language, confidence, your connector, your mastery over language and your, uh, you know, type of sentences you use, lexical resource, connectivity. All these things going to be matter, but not the facts. For an example, if examiner would ask me to describe my hometown, I would say I live at Ludhiana. It is a cosmopolitan. We have a beautiful lake on the southern side where people love to visit in the evening. We have skyscrapers, multiple plazas. We have world's renowned university in our city. We have world's oldest church in our city and our city is having perfect infrastructure. Now, whether the oldest church of the world in our city or not, still I can say that. Examiner is not going to check the facts, but he or she is going to check how you're going to cook a story, a beautiful story, a spicy story. How are you going to make the conversation more interactive? Any questions?